since 2012, we have supported with about 200 startup teams and uh, have supported ra them to raise about $2 million. And since 2014, we have started to do a more structured acceleration round, providing the startups with infrastructure support in Microsoft Invention Center, because this is one of the most important things that startups lack initially. They come with their ideas and they need all the infrastructure and also some place to work on their ideas in order not to pay the rents, etc. This is one of the uh, support mechanism we do and uh, on top of that we support them with the mentorship which means that we connect them with the people from uh, US and Australia mostly Armenian diaspora people in order to uh, provide them mentorship expertise in order to understand how to shape their ideas and build uh, better products which are really uh, which really have some demand in the market. Uh, one of the important things that we uh, did is we uh, were among the four Microsoft Innovation Centers to pilot an entrepreneurship program in partnership with Microsoft and Microsoft Ventures, which was really impressive and two startups who were attending the program managed to raise some funds from the government grants and also from private in the investors from US. So going, moving forward to challenges, I would like to mention a couple of them. So one of them is that still Armenian startups, especially the B2C ones, are looking at US market, which is really saturated and the competition in US market in terms of B2C startups competing with each other in order to take the portion of their pie is really high and big. And uh, recently there is some change that they are starting to look on this market, on MENA market and Asian market, CIS market, which is really big in terms of population, internet penetration, and also has good potentials uh, for startups to get into the market quickly and acquire some portion of their pie in the market. The other challenge I see now is the lack of private uh, angel network people who might also become mentors in various acceleration programs like Impact App, uh, NTF Fund, and Microsoft Innovation Center. So we generally ask people to come and do sessions to provide mentorships. For example, once we did, it was an, some sort of a very similar U.S. Shark Tank, which was an ish called we called it Ishkan Tank session and couple of people who are also sitting in the hall supported the startups very much. But still there is a challenge in involving mentors as, uh, in terms of angel network and get, uh, providing the startups opportunity to get really easy access to those people and uh, benefit from their knowledge, expertise and etc. The other challenge which Van mentioned is that startups are still scared in to, uh, to start projects, ideas, etc. One of the reasons I see is the startups still don't see the physical market itself, the big market. So especially the B2B ones, for example, a startup which is building a cloud encryption tool or a cloud opti optimization tool is doing this in Armenia and uh, there are like very, very few ones who are doing this in Armenia and they don't see the market, which uh, the big market, okay? They, they don't see the other startups doing the same things and don't learn from the problems which are coming right from the market. And regarding this, what we last year tried to do, we sent two startups to US to participate a very focused conferences which was really, which had really amazing impacts and they just, it was a mind shift for them in terms of understanding the market trends and also what's going on with the investor and uh, startup relationships. Uh, I guess this is all I would like to mention and maybe the last challenge I see now is the opportunity of startups to get very, very early funding, especially the micro funding in acceleration programs, besides the uh, government grants and the venture fund, just to get some small funding, 5,000, 10,000, even more, even less 
for students, it's really a good money to start their projects and have a couple of mo months run rate, which is really important for them to achieve the, uh, to, to, to test their ideas and see which is working, which is not. Which is, th this model works pretty, pretty well in Singapore. It's called the helicopter investing and the, um, especially the private people and the venture funds are putting small by small money in, in the beginning of the innovation funnel, in the beginning of the pipeline in order to increase the middle of the pipeline and have some, let's say, more deals at the end of the pipeline where they stand. Yeah. Thank you.